In this lesson, I want to teach you how HTML handles images, video, and sound files when you include them in a web page. So I got a web page here, and you see we have a paragraph, and we got the uh, JavaScript sheep here looking at us. And uh, this file is actually right here on the desktop. It says index.html. That's the name of the file. You know it's an HTML file because it says .html. That tells us that. And here's our page in the web browser. And you can actually see the image, the little sheep image. I don't know if you can see the little icon here on the desktop. This is a sheep image right in our web page. That's the actual size here. So let's look at the code. Here is a code that generates this page here. So you got our paragraph on top here. And here's our paragraph. We see our opening paragraph tag and our closing paragraph tag. And you see here, oops, a little mistake. Let me save that. And you see here a new tag, a new HTML tag we haven't seen before. This is the image tag. Now, this is one of the strange tags in HTML that does not have a closing tag. You remember before I said all the tags had opening and closing tags, opening paragraph, closing paragraph. Well, there are a few tags, not many, where you don't have a closing tag. And one of them is the image tag. And if you think about it, you don't need a closing tag to tell the web browser where the image stops because it's just right here. It's pretty simple. We have an image. It's pretty evident. It's, you know, this is where it is. We'll learn more about the image tag later on. But all you want to know now is that we've added the image of the sheep to our page using this image tag. Now, if we go back to our desktop, we can see our HTML page and we can see our image here. What you need to understand is that when you're adding images to a web page, the image is not becoming part of the web page. This is very different from, let's say, when you create a PowerPoint. When you add an image to a PowerPoint slot file, or you add an image to, let's say, a Microsoft Word document, the image gets embedded right into the file itself. The image becomes part of the PowerPoint file. The image becomes part of the Word file. It doesn't work that way with HTML. When you are inserting images or video or audio into a web page, you are not joining together. All you're doing is you're using HTML code to point to where the sheep image happens to be in this example. So for instance, if I were to create a new folder, and I'll just call it images, and if I put the sheep in the images folder, so now the sheep has moved. It's not where it was before. And let's see what happens when we load our page. Boom. You see that? That's the browser saying to us, we know you want to load an image there, but you see it's, it's a little broken image. It can't find the image now. The web browser is reading our HTML code, and we're saying to it, just grab the sheep image, which is right beside the, uh, the HTML document. But it's not. Because we move the sheep into the images folder, the web browser can no longer find the sheep image. So there you go. All you need to learn from this particular lesson is that images, videos, sound files like MP3s, when you add them to web pages, they don't become part of the web page. You're just using the code to tell the web browser where to find images. So if you move the image to a different position after you've written your code, the web browser won't be able to find the image. We'll learn more about this later on in the course, but just, just so you, you know, if you get the basic idea, that's all you need to know for now.